in a situation where you have a frame that you need to countersink the soffit of the frame for flat head sleeve anchors, you have a frame that's not prepped, or you've got, you have one that you want to add an existing opening preparation to it, here's how we do it in a situation where you don't have the proper tools. The proper tool would be to have a punch and die. There's a company that manufactures a one-ton hand press that has a die in it. You slide your frame over it, then you have, of course, the you've got the die set. The bottom portion is down below so that when you pierce through the frame, you have a perfect countersunk hole. In absence of having that tool, here's what we do. We would literally... In, we would mark the locations, we would drill an eighth of an inch hole into each of those locations. We would then literally take a railroad spike, or think of a railroad spike, and then think about taking it and grinding it down to a sharp, to a point. Now you've got a epic center punch, is what it is. You're not just going to hit that frame, what you're going to do first is create yourself a spacer or a uh, wedge or a reinforcement so that when you do strike the frame it will not crush the entire frame in. So what you end up doing is drilling your holes, putting in your spacer, and what we would do is take a piece of flat steel, half inch or three quarter inch, you know, a piece of conduit or one inch pipe, three-quarter inch pipe might work out really well. Have it under, weld it to your strap, have your pipe sitting there, put your frame over it so that you then take your really big center punch, which started out life as a railroad spike, and you're hitting it with your two and a half mini sledge. You are then creating the dimple, and you'll get good to the point where you don't hit it too far and crush in too much, and you'll get to the point where you can hit it right then with a three-quarter inch countersink you simply clean that hole out is how you do it. It is a time-tested and proven method. It's crude, it's rude, but it will absolutely get the job done. And in the hands of someone who's done it a few times and learned the right way to do it, it will basically look as if you have the right tool doing it. Thank you.